Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Tech Matt, uh, Matthew from Insane Geeks here. Um, and today I'm going to be unboxing the AMD Athlon 2X245 uh, dual core processor. Um, I'll probably upload this video to both of my channels so you will uh, yeah, you will see this two videos at uh, the same exact. I don't know. So yeah, um, compared to the Phenom X2555 box, this is the processor that I have in my um, uh, system right now. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. As you can see, you can see the windows there, the, pro the processor is installed, that's why you can't see it. You got some specs here, you got a um, true dual core design, AMD Athlon X2 processor, 2 megahertz tool cache, socket AM3 with heatsink and fan. Um, yeah, just says superior multitasking and a, and a green box instead of the uh, um, black box on the black edition processors by AMD. You got some stuff here again. AMD Vision Platform combines uh, ATI Radeon graphics card and the AMD um, processors. You can see the little window here. You can actually see the stepping and stuff and such. Cool and quiet 3.0 technology. AMD 64 Direct Contact Connect architecture. Um, yeah, so let's open this up. AMD The Future is Fusion. Okay, let's open this up. Slice that. I know you can, oh, there's no tab, wow, okay, <laughs> I thought there was going to be a tab, so, yeah, let's open it up, yep. let's see that, so, let's get to the heat sink first, um, I, I'm actually going to compare this to the Phenom 2 heat sink, which I have inside because I'm using a, um, a Holder Master heat sink, uh, fan on my, processor right now. Okay, so, wow, it's quite a bit larger, as you can see. No, it's quite a bit smaller, sorry. I'll see it. So, let's just open this up first. Okay. As you can see, it's puny. Look at that. Wow. I wish I had an Intel stock heatsink to compare this to, but yeah, that's, that's puny. Wait, let me just compare this to the Phenom. This is a 3.2 clocked processor with 6 megawatts of cache, so, yep, there you go, you can see the difference right away. The thickness, it's, the Phenom is almost double the thickness, but they're still using the same aluminum design, so that's no f uh, fun. <laughs> okay, which, oh, I think I, yep, I think it's this one. So, let's put that aside. So as you can see, it's really puny. Has thermal paste applied on the bottom. Uh, 60 millimeter fan, I think. Yeah, around 60, 50 around there. Wow, blue, um, blue latch. The Phenom has a black one. Okay, <laughs> I'm just pointing out the differences. So yeah, um, let's get to the stuff. Oh, we got the case badge right there. Case badge. Again, comparing this to the Phenom case badge, as you can see, quite a bit different. The Phenom is actually quite a bit um, larger than the Athlon, as you can see. Yep. Yeah. So, just a comparison purpose. Alright, so let's get to the process. Let me just grab myself real quick. Okay, so, I hope I won't ESD this processor. Let's go, okay. Okay, there you go. You got 934 pins, uh, 938, sorry. You got the AMD Athlon 2, the fuse in Germany, made in Malaysia. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's just your run-of-the-mill AMD Athlon 2 heat uh, processors, so don't expect too much. Um, AM3, so it has a DDR3 memory controller. Uh, the IS IHS, I think it was called. The, yeah. Because the older Athlons, they had the core actually, um, exposed. So, sometimes when you put the heatsink on it, it would crush the core. So, yeah. I'm glad AMD has me, yeah, to this kind of stage. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a quick unboxing. This will be used in a file server. 
uh, in my house. My dad bought this for that. So yeah, um, you got your uh, standard manual and such. This actually teaches um, you from socket all the way from socket F. 754, 939, 940, AM2, AM2, uh, two, well, AM3+. Plus. Oh, that's uh, that's the new socket that's gonna be coming out for Bulldozer, I'm assuming. But they all have the um, they all have the same uh, lock mechanism or the mount, so that's why they included that. So I'm really excited for a Bulldozer because um, I'm not gonna be upgrading my CPU until then. So yeah, um, okay, let's try. And, okay. Wow, isn't this hard? <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. There you go. I'm going to put everything back inside. So, yeah. Um, basically, it's just an all-around good processor for the money. It doesn't overclock that well, but, you know, it, it is a budget processor. So, I've got mine uh, actually overclocked to around 3.8, 3.9 GHz stable on Prime 95 for like four or five days no around yeah around there so I've got mine stable so I'm very happy in my overclocking results so yeah um quick video as I said and because I'm not going to be using this until we get the, mo the budget motherboard from Newegg which is the ECS um I think it was the IC 780 MA2 I think so yeah just comparing the two boxes as you can see this is much bigger so uh, yeah thanks for watching the unboxing on the AMD Athlon 2 X2 245 2.9 GHz processor and yeah so I'll see you guys in my next video so peace out